Welcome back to the Backyard Professor videos. I'm Kerry Schertz, the Backyard Professor. You know, years ago, uh, when I was at Rick's College getting my associate's degree, um, I spent a lot of time, a lot of my spare time in the library. I was commuting back and forth. And uh, so I was spending a lot of extra time in the library, and I tried, I tried like crazy not to skip class too much. I had to get that degree after all, but when I discovered that library, I was in love with all those books, you know, thousands and thousands of books. <laughs> me and books, you know, it was like me and food. <laughs> Can't leave them alone. I like to feed my mind as well as my uh, body, so. I had discovered Hugh Nibley, and I was photocopying off uh, several of his articles out of the Improvement Eras and uh, the Ensigns and uh, really astounded at how much I was getting uh, a bang for my buck for the copying off all of his materials and uh, discovered several of his books and uh, it was up in the library. Well, when I was reading his books, when I would open his books, on the inside of the cover was a little sticker that said this book dedicated by so-and-so and, -so and and on and on and on. Well, as I was reading the, these books, every one of the books had this sticker in it donated by this certain patron. Every time I kept opening this flap, this person had a sticker, or, or a sticker was in the front cover of the book, thanking this person for the, or, or noting that this person had given this book to the library. And I was amazed. I was astonished astonished because these were thousands of books and this person could have bought a house with the money instead of donating all of these books he could have bought a boat crimey he could have put the money into the stock market and become a millionaire Th there were there were truly hundreds of thousands of dollars back then in the 1980s, of books donated, of LDS books, of all varieties, shapes, and sizes. John Whitstow's books were there. Uh, the Journal of Discourses, just uh, the Millennial Star. You know, it, it was amazing. And the person who donated all of these books was our current prophet and president of the church, Thomas S. Monson. And that in Indelibly impressed me of his graciousness, of his kindness, of his astonishing insight and foresight to see that this type of a gift could keep giving and giving and giving through the months and years and decades and centuries to ever more generations of people, young people, who can fill their minds and their hearts and their intellects with a solid gospel foundation of knowledge. It gave me my base. President Monson, I doubt you'll ever see this video, but I want to personally thank you for that astonishing wonderful gift of knowledge, of helping me strengthen my intellect, of building my spirit, of giving me the joy of discovery, of learning about the depth, the breadth, the quality, the amazing spiritual power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I took complete advantage of your gift. I know you didn't do this for the public praise of the world. I've never heard anyone mention this about you, President Monson. Well, I will. I'm one of those Latter-day Saint youth who took complete advantage of your astounding gift. Thank you. You are one of the five most influential men in my life. Now that probably doesn't mean a lot to you. It means everything to me. Because you gave me an opportunity. I had the freedom to pick and choose which books to read. 
I tried to read them all. I started up in the left-hand corner on the top shelf on the first row, and I made my way. I, I opened every book. I looked through subjects and researched for two solid years. I skipped classes to go read those books. <laughs> Probably not the wisest thing on my part, but uh, I didn't get a 4.0. I got something much stronger. I got a very powerful, intelligent, intellectual, and heartfelt testimony of the gospel of Jesus Christ because of your foresight, because of your fabulous gift to all of us youth of Zion here in Idaho. So look me in the eye, President Monson. I love you and I sustain you as the prophet and president of this church for your amazing power of showing what a real man is. I'm impressed with your charity, your graciousness, and above all, your phenomenal attitude. If I can become half the man that you are, I am going to count my life as a raving success. And I'm trying. <laughs> I'll give it a shot, why not? You know, there are people that have complained that I am too happy. People have asked me, how on earth can you be so happy in such troubling times? President Monson, you are directly influential for my happiness because I had the joy of discovery. I learned something new every day every day for two solid years. I even actually worked at the library. I got a job at the library so that I could look into those books also. It was phenomenal. It's a great experience. But I'm letting the cat out of the bag because I firmly believe that if we as a people, as a humanity, if we could emulate your intellect if we could emulate your gracious lifestyle, if we could emulate the power of the spirit that I've seen in you for decades now, we could have the millennium of peace. That's a serious compliment. I can't think of a higher compliment to give such a good and gracious man who so anonymously gave of his amazing amount of substance to better all those tens of thousands of people who discovered your gift. I did discover your gift, President Monson. I used your gift. I still use your gift. I have most of these books now on CD-ROM with the Gospel Link 2001, but I use them all the time. But it was because of your gift that it gave me a basis and a solidity, a realization that, hey, if I don't have the answers, I certainly have access to thousands of sources that I can potentially find the answers to. And I did. And I do still to this day. So this is one Latter-day Saint who really wishes to say thank you to you for all that you've done for me personally and you haven't even been aware of it. But I have. And that's what matters. And now in my turn, I'm turning back around and I'm trying to share that knowledge, that intellect, that spiritual power and ability to up raise us through the atonement of Christ and his grace and his gift of love to help us recognize where the reality lies. Your gift is one of the most beautiful unselfish acts that I have ever seen. And I was wise enough to take advantage of that. I just want you to know I love you, President Monson, for the good and great and gracious man that you are. Thank you once again.